Shalom to the elect of Israel, the whole elect of Israel, you Hebrew Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians, and Haitians. Gotta give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. The most high heavenly father, his Hebrew name is Yahweh. Now Yahweh, not Jehovah, not God, not Elohim, not Moshe, not Lord, not Yah, not Jah, not Ahayah, not Allah, not Abba. It's Yahweh. And his only God's son name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah, not Yahshua, not Yeshua, not Jesus Christo, not Jesus Christ, not Sarapas Christo, not Yeshaya, not Yahushua. It's Yahweh Shah. So gotta give all praises and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rekha Kodash. The bond of the apostles and elder bishop and elders of great millstone who are well, who teach well. Who are the apostles and elders of all the Israel, earth concepted or not. And the sense of salutation to all the who pushing this truth and believing this truth. But the four winds of the earth and the entire world shed light to the hopeful elect. Inshallah, want to the wife who are listening and learning. If you sisters who are listening and learning. Come at you with another lesson. In true fact, faith, and education. Another day of education, Lord, wouldn't be out of fire. So, I titled this lesson. I titled this lesson. Uh, so, lock your bell with me. I titled this lesson, Strengthening. Strengthen your spirit to control the weakness of your flesh. Strengthen your spirit to control the weakness of your flesh. And um, just a few precepts. Because this is a, uh, the, uh, the strengthening your spirit is a spiritual, cost, uh, what do they call it? Costhetic, costhetics, right? Uh, spiritual push ups, spiritual sit ups, spiritual pull ups, spiritual dips, spiritual squats. This is spiritual. So, strengthen your spirit to control the weakness of your flesh, which is spiritual, which is spiritual costhetics. So, real quick, just a few points. In Galatians chapter 5 and 16, it reads, This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you but if ye be led of the spirit, you are not under law. So I'll be for a second. I want to make sure to sound good on this video. But this is about, this is a spiritual warfare. And we are to be, we are being groomed spiritually. So bear with me here. Let me make sure the sound is good on this. Just want to make some points here. Lord willing. I'll make some points here. Okay. Lord willing. Okay. So, again, Galatians 6 and 17. This I say to you, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the lust, for the flesh lust of against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are, these are contrary to one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. And again, this is spiritual costhetics, right? Spiritual push up, spiritual push ups, spiritual pull ups, spiritual dips, spiritual uh, sit ups, and spiritual squats. This is our first Timothy four and seven. Just exhortation. Just some exhortation. 
First Timothy 4 and 7, it reads, But refuse profane and old wise faves, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. For bodily exercise profit little. It profit, it profit little, but it do profit bodily exercise. But it say, again, First Timothy 4 and 8, for bodily exercise profit little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. So spiritual exercise is godliness, which is profitable to all things. This is uh, Acts 24. Acts 24. This is Acts 24 and 16. It reads, and herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscious void of offense towards God and towards men. So if you is spiritually exercising yourself, right? This is a spiritual exercise. Then it say, to have always a conscious void of offense towards God, power Yahweh Shema shine towards men. So when you exercise yourself constantly in the spirit, as I tied the lesson, strengthening, strengthening your spirit. Oh, I was gonna tie it. Exercise your spirit to keep the flesh weak. And the flesh being weak, it'll overpower your spirit. Because you help me. As a matter of fact, you have a said this in Matthew 26 and 41. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So the flesh being weak and the spirit willing, you wish I said it. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak, meaning that this weak flesh can overpower an and, and willing spirit. That's why you got to exercise your spirit. The more you exercise your spirit, you keep the weak, you keep the flesh, you weaken in the flesh. Because you always shall see it like this, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak, meaning you could be overpowered by a weak flesh. So you got to strengthen up your spirit. That's why the Lord said this, 2 Timothy. Two and three. It reads, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And that word for hardness, so lucky, let's play this. Just something real. Strong's G2553. Kakapatheo. Kakapatheo. Say the suffer. See? To suffer, as Apostle Paul always say, the Lord brought you in the truth to suffer, to suffer, endure evils, hardship, troubles, to be afflicted, to undergo hardship, be afflicted, endure afflictions, suffer trouble. And that's what spiritual casthetics do, man, because you are spiritually doing pull ups, spiritually doing dips. Spiritually doing push-ups and squats. This is a spiritual, this warfare is spiritual. So you got to spiritually be built up in your mind. Putting away uh, the weakness of the flesh, which is that second, uh, second Israel 14, starting at verse 13. This is also second Corinthians. Second Corinthians 13 and verse 4. So lucky. Let's 
2 Corinthians 13 and 4 reads, For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he lived by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God towards you. See? Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not, know ye not your own selves. How that Yahweh shall Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. So it said, for though he was crucified through weakness, yet he lived by the power of God. That's the spirit. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God towards you. This is the, in the spirit, man. Dwelling in the spirit. This is also. Uh, what is that? Second uh, Timothy. Second Timothy three and sixteen. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And I would make this point, being thoroughly furnished. If you get a new house or you get a new apartment, what do you do? You don't go to the thrift store and buy no hand-me-down stuff. If you got the money, you go and buy your stuff new. Nice TV, nice furniture set, nice bed set, right? You don't get no hand-me-down stuff. You get all new. So again, it say that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works, thoroughly furnished well in your spirit, in your abode, which is your body. Spiritually being thoroughly furnished, Romans 8 and 4, it reads, it said that the righteousness of the law may be, filled, may be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh, for they that are after the flesh, do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is empty against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are after the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwelleth in you, now, if any man have not the spirit of a Mashiach, he is none of his. See, and if a Mashiach be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. So it's through the spirit of Yahweh Shemah that we are being conditioned to uh, put off the cares of this life and to not have these weak immortal thoughts. Let me get this in on. Uh, let's close with this in on uh, Second Ezra. Because it said put off the weak nature. And that's why the Lord say endure hardness as a good soldier. Second Ezra 14 and 13. Because the men that's out here, these men are uh, weak, effeminate, frail, feeble, beta simp. Little boys, because they ain't men. And that's why you got a woman always talking about she want a God-fearing man. She want a man she can control. One of them slow belly niggas that go to church every Sunday. First, second, third, fourth Sunday. Faithfully. Um, uh, revival week. That ain't the man of the Lord. That's a simp. Anyway, second years of 14 and 13, I therefore set that in the house in order. And reprove thy people, come for such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. So you gotta set your house in order, which is your spirit, your body, your mind. Let go from thee mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, which the burdens of man is Esau eating the so-called white man's. He got you thinking about chasing the bag. Put off now the weak nature and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And hate thee to flee from these times. So the reason two thirds of our peoples are weak because they care about, they need, they want the cares of this life. Galatians, 
This is Galatians. No, Salakia. James. James 4 and 4. It reads, Ye adulterous and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore would be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So, do if you think that the scriptures say in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? No, man. No, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he said, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. See? Submit yourself, therefore, to God through the spirit of Yahweh Shemam Shah. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So, again, do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? No, man, it doesn't. Because the spirit put your mind on, let me get this, Colossians. If the Lord give that spirit, your mind is not in this, it ain't known the cares of this life. Which is Colossians 3 and 1. If ye then be risen with a Mashiach, seek those things which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of power. See? Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. And the spirit have your mind on things of the kingdom, man. Not here. Gotta get this. First John 2 and 15. It reads. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. But all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, see, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever through the Spirit, man. So just something I want to mention. Dealing with the spirit of Yahweh by Shema was shot. These are what the Lord is grooming us. How the Lord is, let's say, how the Lord is grooming us is spiritual costhetics, man. Spiritual pull ups, spiritual dips, spiritual sit ups, spiritual squats, spiritual push ups. Okay? This is a spiritual battle. So, Lord was an edifying. Got to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Bahashim Rikak Quraish, the honors to the apostles and the bishop and elders of great millstone who well, who teach well, while the apostles and elders of all Israel ready to accept it or not, and the sincere salutation to all the Akim pushing his truth and believing his truth with the four winds of the earth, the entire world shed light to the whole for the lake. Shall we go on to the Akwath world listen learning? If your sisters are listening, to the Akwath tuning in, may your Abba Shema shall continue bless you in your houses. Stay prayed up. May the blessing of election be upon your house. Till next time, I say Shalom. Wow, wow, wow.